Thanks in a Fox Carolina investigation. We're following a new natural gas pipeline planned for the Travelers Rest Taylors area and its potential impact on the community there. Piedmont Natural Gas says it needs to build the eight inch steel structure to continue providing service to customers in the rapidly growing countryside. But some homeowners are concerned about possible environmental impacts from this pipeline. So we're talking to officials on both sides of this issue. Fox Carolina's Matt Koufax joins us live tonight after talking with Piedmont and local and environmental group Upstate Forever. Yeah, Tori, Cody, the pipeline could run from Highway 290 in the Taylors area up and along to Highway 25 in Traveler's Rest. Now, Piedmont tells me they are taking the environmental concerns very seriously, but activists say they're not sure the pipeline is a good idea. Jennifer Sharp with Piedmont Natural Gas says it's about powering homes. It's our responsibility to respond to growth in the county and the needs of our customers there, current customers and future. She also adds they're still at least a year away from any construction. Piedmont is incredibly early in the process. We have so far considered five or six different routes. But no matter what site they choose, some environmentalists have concerns. I was shocked at how large the pipeline is and how large the project is, uh, particularly for the area that it would be serving. Shelly Robbins with Upstate Forever says the general area is an issue. She believes the digging and clearing of trees for construction could have lasting damage. It is our, our source water, essentially. The Ennery River and Beaver Dam Creek, we are prone to extreme storm events extreme rain. This is an area that's hilly. Uh, our rivers and creeks are flashy and the potential damage due to erosion and stormwater runoff could be significant. But Sharp says Piedmont's goals are the same as Upstate Forever's. We live and work in this community too. So keeping the environment pristine and keeping the upstate beautiful is very much in our interest. She points to the fact that the company chose not to build on its original easement as a sign of their environmental awareness. It's got some very sensitive wetlands and some plant species that are very rare. Robbins says that plant, the bunched arrowhead, is still being found in the area. It only exists in northern Greenville County and in one county in North Carolina. That's it in the entire world. And Piedmont again wants to emphasize how early on they are in the project. They tell me today that they still have a lot of research that needs to be done before they come up with an official site and then move on to a shareholder meeting where they will present the final plan. They firmly believe that the need of their customers justifies the scale of the project, but that's just something that Upstate Forever says they do not see. They don't believe that it's justified. So a lot more to follow up on this live tonight. Matt Koufax, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.